Hey guys, this is Hunt, I'm bringing you another Unreal tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you how to create a moving platform using the 2D side scroll um, example in Unreal Engine. So, without no further ado, I'm going to firstly go into the content browser window, right click, select blueprint class, choose actor, call it platform. I'm going to go into it. Click on Add Components in the top left. And I'm going to choose a paper sprite. And then what I'm going to do is, um, using the Unreal example, I'm just going to uh, select it in the content browser. And then where it says uh, Sprites, uh, use selected asset from content browser. Hit compile. Now what I'm going to do is uh, in the construction script I'm going to actually um, set it so that when you place the actor anywhere in the world it knows where its location is. Um, that will be used to determine where, it should, uh, where, the vector, where its vector should begin and end. So uh, first of all drag off cons uh, construction script and I'm going to type in set actor location. Uh, drag off the new location pin, type in get actor location. Uh, right click on the return value and select promote to variable. And I'm going to call this initial location. And then I'm going to plug that in there, hit compile. As I say, that's all we need um, so that we can determine where the when we place it in anywhere in the world, it knows where it is. So next bit, we go into the event graph, and from event begin play, we're going to just type in add timeline. Select it, double click it, and then what we need to do is we need to add a vector track. We change it to ten seconds. Just put it, use uh, use last keyframe as well. Now we only want it to move up and down, which means in 2D environments it will only move on the uh, Z axis. So I'm going to lock on, lock up the, the X and Y. And then once that's been done, shift left click, let's create a node, and I'm going to set that to value 0 times 0. Do the same thing again, only halfway, I'm going to have it time at 5 seconds and I'm going to set the value at 400 so we can actually see it moving. Next one, the time 10 seconds, value 0 and then what we do is click on these little arrows here and you'll see the whole graph. Now to ensure a smoother mo movement um, I'm going to uh, control click all of the nodes so that they're all yellow right click and I'm just going to click auto and then you can see there's a bit more smoother transition between the nodes. Uh, make sure it's on loop, hit compile and then go back in the event graph. Now once you've gone into the event graph uh, drag out your initial location as a getter, uh, drag out from the node just put plus and you want a vector plus vector connect the new track to uh, the plus there, it's not very tidy but it'll do. Drag out that, type in set out to location and you want to connect that into there and pretty much that's all the code you need for that. I'll just uh, zoom in for you just for clarity. Hit compile and then what I want to do is I'm going to drag our actor into the world. So you can see here it's gone in. I'm just going to set it to zero uh, on the Y axis so that the player can jump on it. Hit play. And there you have it. Pretty much you've got a platform that moves up and down. Um, now I'm quickly going to show you how you can change that. As I say, the movement is based on the um, Z axis. Um, so you've got a platform which is essentially starts up then goes down. But say if you wanted to have a platform which um, does the opposite, it goes down then goes up. All I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this blueprint, click platform 2, double click it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the timeline, 
and remember this middle note what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to a minus value instead hit save minimize that drag in platform 2 change it to 0 now for some reason I have no idea why but whenever you duplicate it, it takes off the sprite. But that's easily fixed. Just select it, go into add components, select paper sprite again, go into your viewports, and then same as we did before, uh, select it legend the, the window, and then go to sprites, use selected asset from content browser. And there you have it, hit compile, and there you go. So if hit play again. two platforms that move um, basically in opposite directions okay guys thank you for watching my tutorial um, if you have any questions feel free to put anything in the comments and I'll uh, try and answer it as best as I can thank you